Yeah. I remember when I was about getting married to my husband. One thing he told me was, we're not going to allow any housemaid to live with us because of the past experiences he's had with stories about housemates and what they do to people that employ them, that, they have, that put the trust of their children into their care. And you know what? I was somehow actually skeptical about it. I was like, ah, it's too stressful. Ah, before I watch, before I do this. Not until I started now seeing myself what housemates were actually doing to people that trusted them so much, take care of them, as in do a lot of things for them. Not until I saw what they were actually doing. Then I was saying, I'm grateful. Then the latest one right now that is bringing me to do this video is what just happened of this end. They have a word today you're welcome to set of words in case you're new on this channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share our videos i remain joke central and i'll always have with you my funny husband my name is Dara to the most handsome makeable husband but i'm operating on a certain kind of low spirit today because of this issue that i want to discuss about it's all about the behavior of some of these people what do they call house them mates. house mates or house wow or house house mates. Or house helps. They most of the time they end up spoiling the house as in scattering the house for you. And it's all about the story of this lady, uh Agata or Gata Gata or Gata something something. The if you see her face, you would think that this is an angel. Uh, she had the opportunity of being in the family that they were even taking perfect good of her. That there is a picture that has been in circulation that if you see what the way she was dressed, you will actually think she's even their first daughter. But never or little did they know that they were just what harboring a potential killer. Let me just put it that way because the CCTV uh, footage that was in the house showed how this girl was on a mission to just kill. Yeah. And because I don't see any reason why you will be beating a child on the neck, on the head, eating, and to the extent of feeding the baby with physics. Ah, Jesus Christ. I, I don't want to talk about this. I just want to. Uh, take some time out and look at it and my simple advice will just be please if you can do without housemates just try and do without them but if you must not uh, if you cannot do without an housemate I will implore that you get a working CCTV and review your CCTV like like seriously every day to time. I wanted to say you can work on their side by letting them know that the CCTV is capturing everything they are doing but I tell you, some of these housemates, they are so wicked, they can even pull up the CCTV yeah. and you will not have evidence about what, what they are doing. Do. But to, your, to, your, to the best interest of your children, because these children is all the reason why you are working. And if at the end of the day you allow a, a, a loser to come into your family and kill your joy. Just watch this innocent guy. Just so watch painful. this innocent guy.
push the baby as in for no good reason. Baiting, baiting a, a small boy with eyes. Eyes. Just well, why is she doing that? Just so that the so parents can just the, the parents can just be spending unnecessary money, then the child should die. Die. Then see how she was wiping the baby and Maybe the, the woman was not just always baiting the baby, but the day she was just about baiting the baby, see the wicked girl, she runs. It's the teacher that has done it too. <laughs> if not for the, the mother that just said, the mother of the woman that said, it's that girl that I must have done it. And do you know one thing about these house raids is that they can be so pretentious. Uh, they can be so pretentious. When you are there, they will be the, the best, best angel. angel. When you are not there, some of them can even spit inside the food they are Yes. Food. Some of them will carry the glass of water you ask them to go and bring their speed. Did like you it. not see the other uh, one? There was one, there is one on the next also now. I think maybe she put food on the on the food know. and all the lights. You don't you can't tell what they do behind you, but to you they'll pretend as if they are the best, they'll carry the reference. It's a lie. They are killers. They are high assassins and all they are after is just to destroy whatever home they are into. It's like they, they have it's not even like they have demons working in them. It's they like are, those demons. They are on a mission. Yeah. Destroy this family and move on. To the best. That's just their mission. So you just have to watch out. If you must get there, please, you have to pray. But please note, it is not all housemates that are like this. Yes. But that you can the possibility of still getting some that are not like this is they are not the sweeping up. But, but I'm telling you that the largest percentage 95%. Of, no, we can't give percentage. Yes. The larger chunk of the percentage or you know of this housemate, they are moving in. Yes. As in, they are moving in. If you are looking for Satan in in sheep clothing, yes, that's, you get it in that's this they that's They treat your child as if they are prisoners of war. They treat them like any oh no, no, no. You don't just want to. You see can't it. just trust them. And no matter how they tend to be so close to your heart, you give them your room key, you they buy everything. Don't trust them. That's why I now pity some of you that you allow this housemate to, to get, your, get bedroom. your bedroom. Somebody like this, imagine that she's about uh, maybe 20 something years and you know, she already has the features of a, a woman or a lady. You know, don't you think that this kind of person can kill the wife and I'm take over the husband? So, because the mission of this one is, is as if she wants to kill the children and take over the, 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 the home of the woman. Okay. So, it's, it's really, really pathetic. It's really, really, as in, really, really terrifying. And I don't even know the adjective to, to qualify it. So, just please do what? Save your children's life. Save them. Those children are crying I'm, I'm in saying, silence. I'm saying from housemates. housemates as much as possible. But if you need to get them, Make sure you do you do it through the Holy Spirit while they're on your knees. Then you must have your working CCTV to watch them, monitor them like two four seven. You check your CCTV. I think my advice at this point is even towards the uh, um, graduates that are looking for jobs. I think it's high time you start thinking on how to use this opportunity to create a job. From this housemaid or the thing. Yes. I'm, I'm telling you, you have a large percentage of people that are unemployed. If there can be a system whereby, um, I'm just looking at it, a pool of graduates that can pass through a training system on how to take care of people's family, I think that should be something that is workable. And I'm beginning to think I might have to start investing in that. But because what it will just take is to get graduates that are. The people that have gone through school, they are well educated and the likes, and subject them to some system to check their character formation because some of them are rebellious and they are also mad with some spirits like this. Get their character formation, get information to their roots, their family lineage and uh, family background and the like, like, so that they know that if they commit any evil or if any atrocity, they can trace them to their people. Then subject them to numerous tests, and more importantly, the CCTV is there to monitor. You understand? Then the other side is the spiritual side because I see the majority of these people are just they are like possessed. It's not like they are possessed, but the Nigerian factor, as for that that you're saying, you know, Nigerians who are egocentric, and you say, how, how, for crying out loud, how would I go to school and start being. What's the ego about it? If I can get. Like 1,000 people that need housemates, 
As in standard, standard house, house made, made more more church, mm-hmm. as in I think I will start working a on business that. Was that. I will build a business around that. You need a housemate, SSC. I don't want to use SSC. I want to use yes. that even with them, you don't need to get, get all teachers. teachers all stuff. They will now so actually be we look at teachers. we look at your sex. If your children they are majorly female, I'll make sure that if they're female that they do see the other time. If then you will look at your husband history too. If he's somebody that doesn't like to remove his eyes away from skirt, we will make sure that he's a male that is there. We will not watch the male one. Right? Um, but even put a sensor around your children. Anybody touching from below like this to start beating. It's nice having you around today. This summer, a solemn blog just dedicated to this housemate issue and the recent happening of this little boy. So, to we come your way in our next video, don't forget to watch out for the sexuals, uh, the joker sexual and dial sexual. If you let go.